Hey guys, welcome back. This video, I will show you how to attach and mount ABS volumes on Amazon Linux instances. EBS volumes are virtual disks for EC2 instances. So in this video, we'll see how to create new volume and attach to EC2, make it available for using on Linux instances. Let's get started with creating a seat instance first. For this demonstration, I want to take Amazon Linux. Default instance type, default networking, and along with root volume. Root volume is a volume where our operating system is installed. So I want to have additional volume. This is our actual demo about. Here, let me choose 30 GB and you choose volume type of your choice. Tags. Let's call EBS volume demo. Coming to security group, let's create new one. Okay, so keep it open real time in production scenarios. This is not a good practice. Or I will at least make SSH open only to my IP address. So review, launch. Let's create new key pair. Get the key pair. Launch EC2 instance. Go to view instances. Now I want to connect to this instance. Grab its public IP. Let's open terminal. Let's use SSH hyphen I, the location of PEM file. Okay, right. Say yes. Yeah, expected. So permission denied. Otherwise, we are unable to uh, get access to EC2 instance because our PEM file is in unprotected state. We need to keep our PEM file more restrictive. For that, what I want to do is change more 600. Okay. Fine. Now, give it a try again. So we got access to EC2 instance. Let's run ls block command, which gives all the information about the number of volumes available uh, on this EC2 instance. So XVDA, that's the root volume where operating system is up and running xvdb is the volume i added at the time of uh, launching ac2 instance now its mount point is blank in sense the disk is available in ec2 but we can't use it until a file system is created on this disk and mounted to ec2 instance the next step is to check if a file system exists on this volume but in our case right this is brand new volume 100 percent there is no file system on this volume in case we are restoring a volume from a backup from a snapshot obviously this volume will contain a file system and the data which is taken part of our snapshot 
the command used to check if a file system exists on a volume is sudo file hyphen s the device name right see we need to prefix slash dev to the actual device name it is presented in this command so if we are not getting any file system type all that stuff right then it actually mean there is no file system created on this volume so in this case this indicates there is no file system yet created on this disk let me try similar command for xvda1 see there it's giving the type of file system all that stuff and it actually mean a file system exists and some data is present in that volume the file system doesn't exist now i need to go and create a file system linux supports different types of file systems i am creating ext4 this discussion is not about the file system types but the discussion is about how to create new volume and make that volume available for use in amazon linux box there xvdb see i am creating a file system of type ext4 on this volume the file system got created now see that now it's giving me the details like type of file system its uuid and so on it indicates a file system present on this disk in order to use this disk i need to have a mount point i am creating a folder under root with name data this folder name could be anything the next command is mount the device we want to mount otherwise the volume we want to mount and the location where that needs to be mounted which is created in previous step enter now this volume is available for use so try list block again this disk has mount point which is root uh, even this disk has mount point data right now i can use this disk if we want to store data onto this volume right open this in sudo mode okay now that is how we create volume we create mount point a file system on the volume we mount it only after mounting it we can use it otherwise without mounting we can't use that disk one final thing in the demonstration is if i reboot my ec2 it should auto mount my volume see this one now it is mounted but if i reboot my ec2 it won't get auto mounted for that i need to do an additional configuration let's see that now for that we need to uh, open fs tab file okay here i can use device name or it's always a good practice to use UUID of the device. Use the command sudo block ID. 
So the device we want to auto mount is this. Let's copy that information. Right, let's take out the scores. That's the device UUID. That's mount point. Type of file systems. Here no fail means if there is any issue with mounting this disk still my EC2 will boot without failures and other values I want to mention here is 0 and 2. So what is 0 and 2 you guys check internet or we will see that discussion in some other video. I do see some syntax issue here let me also fix that. Let's close this file. Let me reboot and check if this volume is automatically mounted. So from here, let me do a reboot. So I'll be back once this EC2 instance is available to access. System successfully rebooted. Let's connect again and check if that volume is automatically mounted perfect right i see this mount point so that's all from this video thanks for watching